Hello and welcome to this series on Godot. Here we're looking at the Godot project template. My name is Samuel Asheravello. I am a Unity game developer with over 20 years of game dev experience. My mission is educating and entertaining with game content, and I've created lots of different titles, particularly in the Unity universe in the last decade or so, for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, mobile, lots of stuff like that. In addition to developing commercial games and shipping them, I've done lots of different courses and on-demand classes as well, and I've got lots of them available here. They are Unity-focused, but I'm hoping to learn more about Godot, gain my expertise there, and as I get deeper into it, do some additional materials. In the Unity world, we've got ones about 2D game design, UI toolkit, building out worlds for 2D platformer games. Also have courses dedicated to higher end C-sharp topics such as MVC architecture, design patterns, unit testing, physics, and more. But we're here to talk about the Godot game engine. And as more content becomes available, I'll always put it here on this Godot portfolio hub. We've got articles, repos, and tips. One of those repos we're gonna be taking a look at today. So here on GitHub, freely available is the Godot project template. I'm gonna explore a little bit here. We've got supporting information here that explains exactly what the purpose of this project is, but it's meant to be a place to get started if you're creating a brand new project and you just wanna have some good folder structure. There's not too much to it, but I wanna include coding templates for doing code, uh, as well as just best practices to create a scalable structure that grows with you. It also includes all the git ignores and stuff like that that you would want and set up in a nice way. So a great place to kick off would be to clone this repo. So up here, we could either do cloning, we could open up directly with Visual Studio, we could download the zip as well. So let's just pretend I'd done that. I've already got it downloaded and ready, and we're gonna open it up in Godot. So when you first open up Godot, it opens the project manager before you jump into a given project. And here you would import that project you've downloaded from zip or checked out from GitHub. I've already got it set up here, so let's just open it. It's opening here fresh as if you just got it from the repo. So here we are in the template project. Let's just do a quick overview of what we've got here. Now it's not meant to be a game specific template that gives you a platformer starting place or a first person shooter starting place. It's really just the basics of a Git repo with all the files set up that you'd want from Git perspective, including Git ignore, as well as a nice folder structure as a, a good place to start here. So let's take a look. In the add-on section, it's just got an area that if you wanna bring in your own third-party stuff, you can duplicate this folder and have them organized nicely uh, if you bring them in manually. So we've got that. Then we've got an art section here that is a lot of the common Godot art types. And I like to have these things in an art folder just for when you're working yourself and you're collaborating with others as well. You can clearly see which are the creative assets under the art folder and which one are the other types of programmatic assets or data and stuff like that would be outside of this folder. So you've got things like animations and audio streams uh, for setting up your game there. Then down here, there's a documentation area that is dedicated um, on the Git repo page. It embeds these. So if you were to if you were to take this and clone it and then update these images, your README would automatically show a screenshot uh, and a banner at the top of your page. You can delete that stuff if you don't need it, or you can use it and take advantage of it. Then inside scenes, we've got one sample scene set up. So if I open it up, Nothing too interesting here. It just starts with a node 3D and it shows what I think is a good way to structure things. You can hide some of the objects that you don't need to get at too often under this common folder here. Maybe some things that you would use from scene to scene you can put in there. And then, you know, the meat of your interesting things here. Then under the scripts, I've got it broken down into editor, runtime, and tests. So the bulk of your game code would go in the runtime folder, but a nice set of consistent parallel folder structure there. If you're doing editor tooling, it could go in the editor or perhaps up at the add-ons if you decide to move it there. The runtime is where all your production code would go. And if you decide to embrace unit testing, you can use that test folder. Again, if a couple of these things aren't relevant to you, you can feel free to delete them, but just know that the idea there is to have parallel structure for each of those scripting assets. Then finally in the settings here, we would just have different types of resources specific to coding your game. So if you have custom assets, you could choose to keep them in the scripts folder or you could move them down here into settings. Um, also, if you create the different types of resources native to the Godot editor itself, 
such as different environments or different shapes, and you want to save those as reusable resources uh, down here in settings is my suggestion on a great place to put them. So this would be a great place for you to download, start coding your next game. You've got everything set up from a Git perspective, as well as a nice structure here to get started with. So that's it for this video. Thanks for following along with me here. You'll see if you choose to watch this playlist in order that things build. First, we talked a bit about Godot and what the engine can do. Did a little hello world example in the previous video. Here we're looking at the project template from which I will be creating future separate demos that are all freely available on Git. We're gonna explore how we could do add-ons and what types of add-ons would be useful for us to create reusable libraries of our own code, as well as collaborating with the community's add-ons. We'll talk a little bit about the dependencies or the lack of dependency support from Godot right now and how you can mitigate that, as well as being able to build a game on top of all this. So thanks.